Hi, pre-calculus students. I can't believe it either. A third video would only 4.1c, but there's just two examples I couldn't fit on my board. They're super short. No worries here. Okay. Uh, number 12, estimate, read, and measure. And I really mean like estimate. So what I do is, um, you know, because there are uh, 6.28 or 2 pi radians all the way around a circle, right, in 180 degrees equals pi radians, right? So about three, right? A little bit more than three. So all I do is like 180 degrees, that's supposed to be a straight line, is, um, is about a little bit more than three uh, radians, right? And so that would be like dividing it into three sections, right? So here's my radians, here's my radians mark. So for me, here's one, and I would say that that's, it's almost two. So I would call this two radians because it says to estimate it to the nearest one half. So again, radians, there's about three in the top half of a circle, about three in the bottom. So I drew one, two, three radians, and I think it's around two. Anyway, arc length. They want you to find the arc length at number 92. The formula for arc length is S equals the radius times theta, but this theta has to be in radians, right? And so um, my, my radius is good, it's 20 centimeters. Notice though my central angle they gave me in degrees, 45 degrees. So all I have to do is convert that to radians. We did that in a prior video, that's pi over four. So our arc length is 20 times pi over four. Right. This four cancels and leaves a uh, five pi. And I believe they do that as a decimal. So let's go ahead and do that five. And where's the pi button? Here it is, about the exponent, 15.708 uh, centimeters, right? Because it's a length. There we go. So kind of nice and easy, but I just wanted to make sure that you got to uh, see that a little bit. There you go, very short, short and sweet. 4.1 is done.